Hi guys, welcome to Akata Fashion. Today we are coming to unbox WS57 Infinite Display Smartwatch. In the unboxing, I will teach you how to connect it with your iPhone. Okay, let's start. So, comes with a manual, silicone straps, charging cable, and then the watch itself. This is how the watch looks. So, let's take off. Okay, so take off. Okay, it looks beautiful. Okay, that's the back. The charging plates. This is where the speaker is. Okay, and this is the crown. Okay, let's see how we are going to fix the straps. Okay, so to fix the straps, just turn it like this. Okay, charging plate will face upwards. So you pick the shorter part of the strap. And then carefully you slide it in like this okay then you pick the longer one and also carefully you slide it in like this okay let's okay the watch is on wow this is very nice one two three four five six okay seven watch faces that is fantastic okay let's go ahead and see how we are going to charge the watch okay, this is the charging cable the usb part goes into your charger head and then this two pin magnetic pin will be attached to the back of the watch just like this if it is repelling meaning the position is not right so you turn it carefully and then it sticks it has to stick like this okay and then it will start charging usually it is being charged for two to three hours i'm going to teach you how to connect your watch to your phone and any other settings involved okay today we are going to focus on iphone okay in our later video we'll be doing another video for android phone however the connection is very similar so you can use this same video and follow carefully and you'll be able to connect it with your android phone okay so let's go this is ws57 smartwatch and it works with a high fine app so basically we will be following two main methods first we will do a connection in the app that is the high fine app and after connection is successfully done in the app we will move on to connecting the watch audio in the bluetooth settings okay so guys let's begin so first you will download the high fine app that is the app for this watch so we download it and to download it on your iphone you go to the app store so this is our app store you go to search and then you type i find h r y f i n e f i n e this one so you click on it and then this is what you see this is how the logo looks like high fine okay so you click to download it takes a few seconds or minutes to download and then you are done when it's successfully downloaded this is what you see so you click open to open the app now you see this first notification you allow it other notification will pop up you need to allow them for the app to work properly okay so for this video sake we will be using a direct login this app has to do with an account you create an account just like how you are creating a facebook account or any other app account okay it's similar to that so you can use it with your gmail your yahoo or you can use your apple id okay for this video we are going to make it very quick we will use the direct login the direct login is like a quickest way of logging in without putting in your personal information is that okay and it also works perfectly so we are going to use the direct login so you click on 
direct login it will generate a password for you you have to screenshot and then keep the username and password for future use okay so after you've screenshot it you keep it and then uh, you save it for later use so you assess it then you confirm and then here it needs your bio data that is your name gender age height so you can fill in your details these changes can be done later okay so it doesn't really matter so let's move ahead so after filling in your details it moves to the final page this is the main page okay so okay i'll allow it to track it it doesn't really matter but if you don't if you feel you don't want the app to track you just ignore it okay so this is the main page of the high fine app it has two main navigation dashboard the health data exercise and me okay so you click on me after you click on me at this time you need to connect your watch so you search for a device you go to search device and then you wait for your phone to detect the device sometime it might keep a little bit longer other times it will be very short okay wouldn't take too much time so as you can see this is the smartwatch when it settles like this you click on the smartwatch you wait for a few moments for it to pair this notification will come you need to click pair another notification will pop up you allow okay now when you are done you go to device settings and then you go to message notifications okay now you click on this message notification and then you toggle on all the apps you want to receive notifications for okay so if you need whatsapp you toggle it on if you need instagram reminder you do the same your preferred app toggle it on if you need all of them you can toggle all of them after you are done you click confirm you see set successfully when it's done you go back and then we are going to this brings to the end of our first that is the app connection we will be coming back to the app to do some few uh, navigations okay so let's go to the second part which is connecting for the calls and audio okay to connect for the calls and audio first you go to the bluetooth settings of your apple phone so this is the bluetooth go to bluetooth set. there are various ways of accessing the bluetooth in the settings i use this shortcut okay you can choose to use normal settings you go to settings and then you you, you access bluetooth there okay now you go to the watch to connect the bluetooth first go to the watch and make sure the bluetooth to connect for the calls okay first you go to the watch and then you slide from top to down like this to access the shortcut so this is the bluetooth you make sure you turn it on yeah it is already on when you click it like this it will go off when you click again it's on is that okay so after you are sure it's on here now you go back here and search for watch audio this is it if you can't see it you scan again to check it will eventually pop up then you connect the watch audio now you can see that the smart watch is connected and smart watch audio is also connected okay so when the two is connected meaning everything is 100 percent connected is that okay and then you can start receiving your notification and other stuff okay okay sometimes there are instances where after doing all this connection you still can't receive 
notification. To solve this problem, you quickly visit, you quickly go to settings. When you get to settings, you go to notifications, this one. Okay. And then you go to show previews and then you set it to always. You are not done. You still have to do more. You, you scroll down and then look for the apps that you are not receiving notification. Okay. For instance, we are going to do two cases here. For instance, I'm not getting notifications for messages, even after connecting everything. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go to messages here. And then I'll turn all these things on. So you turn this one on, this one on, and all these ones to on. Then you scroll to the, the last section. The first item, show previews. Usually, when you click on it, sometimes it will be on never or when on look. When it is yours is that way, please set it to always default okay it should always be here so you set it to always okay and then after doing this i'm very sure that you start receiving notifications for messages same applies to the other apps when you are not receiving notifications you go to the particular app you are not receiving the notification for then you click on it and then you set the previews to always let's take another one Let's say I'm not seeing notifications for, let's say, the Photos app. You click on it. You turn these things on. Go to the last session, the first item. You click on it, and then you set it to Always. Okay, after you are done, everything will be working perfect. Okay, another thing we would like to do in the app is to set your own picture as a wallpaper of the watch. So you want to have a picture that looks very nice and then you want to use it as a wallpaper or a, a, a proper picture or something on your watch. This is how to do it. Okay. So let's say this is your, your phone. First, you look for the high find app, the one we downloaded. Okay. For the watch. So you click high find app and then you go to me. If it is somewhere here, click to me okay this is where you can access this item and then you go to dial this is the second item here dial so this one you click on it and this is what you see here there are three items okay my watch face is your current watch face that is where anytime you you set a wallpaper this is where the current one is so this one is not too much of so let's let's view our current one this is what you can see there okay so we go back and then the down more is where we have preloaded watch faces some are for free some are being sold okay so you go to the down more it's just like you go walk into a mall and then you have a lot of items that's how it is you can see some of them are being sold others two are free so you can look for the free ones Example, this one is free. So you can view this one. You download and then you push. Okay. So you can download now. And then it takes some few minutes. And then congratulations. You can click to use immediately. Okay. So just after some few seconds, the picture you chose will be uploaded onto it the watch is that okay okay as you can see it's very nice okay now let's go to the next one you can there are many of them there are a lot of them so you can choose you can go through them and then see what you like you can go for the free ones so now let's go to the last one and this is where this last one this is where you can use your own picture as a profile picture so let's go through it quickly so when you click on it this is what you see now you click on the first 
you can see this one these two black box the first one says select image so you click on it to select image now there are online wallpapers but you go to the diy DAO. okay this is the only photo i have on my on my phone so let's try it so you choose the photo and now you crop it neatly and when you are okay with the adjustment you click confirm now you can also set the position of the timer and then the color okay so let's say you want to put you want it to come down here the timer okay then you can also set the color of the timer maybe you don't want white you want something like red so you click on the red okay let's say this color is also too dull for you you can change the color you click on the color icon and then let's go for blue and see okay blue is not bad after choosing you can hold it turn it to any part of the page where you want it to be positioned okay you want it here you put it here just like this when everything is okay for you now you click on save and use down here now you wait for a few moments and then it will be uploaded successfully it will count from one percent to hundred percent and then it is done okay so let's wait and see how this will be wow this is very nice as you can see it's wonderful it's very nice okay it's very nice okay so guys that is all for now uh, there are a lot of things that you can learn when going through the app but these are the main things i will touch on if you want to know some other things you can contact us and then we'll be glad to assist okay please don't forget to subscribe okay there are many videos many of our watches on this channel you can look through them any of them that touches your heart and then you want to buy you can call us and then we'll be glad to assist thank you and enjoy the rest of your day